Hello DC fans, this is JHR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse The Dark Knight Trilogy Two-Face made by McFarlane Toys. Take a look at the packaging. You can see it's just the usual, well, DC Universe Multiverse Direct, well, DC Multiverse style packaging deluxe. You can see the window exposing the figure and the build a figure piece. I'm sorry, collect and connect piece or collect build piece. Yeah. On the side, you get the Dark Knight Trilogy logo right there. On the side, Two Face the Dark Knight Trilogy. On the back here, there's the image of the figure, Bane. And that shows you which figures might have the pieces. And there's other figures you might collect, like Batman, Joker, and of course, Scarecrow. That's about it for the packaging. Let's take out Harvey Dent, aka Two Face, out of the package. Here is Harvey Dent out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Uh, take a look at the likeness to the actor who played him in the Dark Knight film. And the likeness on this side looks eh, okay, to be honest. Nothing too bad, but not too terrible either. I mean, not too bad, but not too great either. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's okay, I, I I guess. On the other side, the burnt look looks really good. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. I, there's some... Look at that. Yikes. You can see, like, the little eye right there and the teeth. And I guess there's, like, a little cheekbone there. There's, like, a little skull right there. Yeah. Very a bit realistic, I would say. So, yeah. But oh. But I'll take a look at his outfit here. You can see he's wearing his, well, his mare outfit entire look. You see here. Eh, not too bad at all. You can see the, his coat is a bit burnt. So. You can see some sculpting buttons on the on the sleeves. And you can see sculpting pockets and buttons there as well. There's like a little belt buckle there on the pants. Uh, take a look at the hands. You can see one hand is like holding on for a gun. But too bad he doesn't come with a gun. And the other hand with the little coin here that is very sculpted in. Like so. But too bad that's not like any burnt marks there. So yeah, it's just a usual, nothing much. A bit, I think the, um, it's a bit a little trickier to do a coin there little burnt coin there's some texturing on the pants here you can see there's like a little sculpted fly there uh not too much on the lower legs but take a look at the feet there not nothing much no shoelaces there bottom bottom there's two pickles in the bottom of his feet there overall for the figure itself i really do like this figure but the head skull could have been a little bit better but still a really a, a, an okay figure, I would say. Mo moving on to articulation, the head does go fully rotate, but tender like one of his hair. But does go up and down. Arms do go fully rotate, does go in and out. Butterfly joint, ball joint, upper arm rotation, double jointed elbows. The lower wrist rotation, hinge, and up wrist rotation ab movement waist movement legs kick forward and back in and out about a bit a little bit ink upper leg well not really stuck there double jointed knees kick its own behind sort of and there's the upper angles right there and then goes to go pivot forward back and then go pivot side to side and toe articulation. So that's about it. Just standard Marvel, I mean, not Marvel Legends, uh, just a standard DC Multiverse McFarlane articulation. But you can, well, I'm not sure if you can give him some any possibilities but because he, all he does is stand there and see it flip the coin to who lives and who is going to un on the live himself on the live by two face and he does fall off easily so you need a display stand speaking of he does come with a display stand which you can 
easily put it here like so and also he does come with a trading card of the of the button that that reads i believe in harvey dead where he's running for mayor so yeah a district attorney turns mayor and on the side here you get the name real name harvey dead and here is a bio about the character go ahead pause the video if you want to read it so yeah and since he is part of the deluxe build of collect connect piece wave of the figures he does come with the torso of bane so yeah well i heard i've seen some leaked images of the um upcoming gold label dark knight trilogy figures and i know there's gonna be like bane with the fur coat i was expecting like a, a bane with the fur coat like molded in but nope it's actually made of real cloth and it's gonna be the same figure as the build figure one so yeah Maybe I might get them, but I'm still wanting to get like the other figures from this line. Because come on. But overall, for the figure itself, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Articulation still really good. Still Nick Rollins articulation, but that's a good thing because most of his figures are posability. Accessories, well, he does not come with a gun, sadly. I really wish he does. So I could pose them like with him holding the gun and him holding the the, the coin because I want to display him looking like this, just like that. Yeah, he just looks ridiculous without the gun. So let me just put down the hand like so. The the head likeness to the actor who played Two Face. I really wish McFarlane could have been a little bit better to be honest, but still really not too bad. I would say. I would highly recommend getting this figure when it's on on a clearance, so yeah. But the sculpting of the figure looks really not too bad at all. I do recommend getting this figure when it's on clearance. For my rate, I'm going to give the Harvey Dent figure a... I would say I'll give him like a, a 7.5 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Harvey Dent from the Dark Knight Trilogy figure made by Hat McFarlane Toys. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.